hello dear friend you are welcome to my channel in this video i want to show how you can use multimeter to measure current in an air conditioner circuit this video is purposely made to help in situations where you want to know the amount of current that is consumed by your air conditioner but you don't have a clamp on ammeter all you have is a multimeter all right so first of all before we start anything at all this circuit is live and the voltage that is passing through this switch to the air conditioner is 230 volts and that is dangerous and so we don't want to play around it carelessly and so before we try to open this switch to do anything we have to look for the breaker that supplies power to this switch and then switch it off let's do that before we continue all right so here now the supply is off and so we are sure that we don't have any issue with electricity in this switch okay so now we can move on the next thing we need to do is to open this switch okay so we gently open it okay and this is how the inside looks Please, if you want to understand how to wire the air conditioner switch, I already made a video on that. And so I have shared the link to that video. Please kindly watch to know how to wire the AC switch. All right. Now that we have access to the inside of the AC switch, at this point, what we need to do is to bridge the input and output neutral connections. So we get a piece of wire to bridge the input and then the output neutral connections. Okay, so let me open it here. Okay. Okay, so what I have just done now is that I have bridged the input and output neutral connections. The next thing to do is to ensure that the multimeter that is being used to take the measurement can carry the maximum current that is expected to flow through this switch to the air conditioner. So we need to have a rough idea of the amount of current that will flow through this switch to the AC. We can know that by checking the nameplate on the air conditioner. So for this particular air conditioner, when I checked, the power rating is 1047 watts. 1047 watts and then the voltage is 220 volts to 240 volts so knowing the power and the voltage we can do a quick calculation and then we know the amount of current that should normally flow through this circuit the voltage stated on the name plate is 220 volts to 240 volts and so to have an idea of the current we should be expecting here when the AC starts working we need to divide 1047 by 240 volts so the amount of current that we expect to be consumed by the air conditioner is between 4.35 and then 4.759 but you must also know that the air conditioner circuit is an inductive circuit it has a compressor which is an inductive load and so we know that inductive loads take higher amount of current on starting. And so you must also have an idea of how much more than the nominal current an inductive load can take to start. All right, so the calculations we have done, the range of current between 4.36 and then 4.759, that is the amount of current that will flow through the switch to the air conditioner when the air conditioner is running but the air conditioner actually needs more than that amount of current on starting all right so here to be on the safer side we are going to multiply 4.759 by 3 so 4.759 by 3 will give us 14.277 amps so on starting we have this rough idea that the air conditioner can draw up to 14.277 amps. All right, so you need all this information to be able to know if your multimeter can actually measure that amount of current. Every multimeter has an amount of maximum current that it can measure. And so you should make sure that the current that you expect to flow through your circuit 
is an amount of current that is lower than the maximum amount of current that your meter can measure. As you can see, this multimeter can measure up to a maximum of 20 amps. So we have to ensure that the amount of current that will flow through this switch on starting and running will not be more than 20 amps. And that is why we needed to do the rough calculations to be sure that our multimeter will be safe to measure that amount of current. Okay. All right. So the next thing we need to do is to properly set up the multimeter for the measurement. We are measuring AC current. So we have to set the meter to this column. And at this column, we can use this meter to measure any alternating current between 2 milliamp up to 20 amp, as you can see here. All right. So we regulate this to 20 amp. 20 amp. Okay. Then we will need our two meter probes or our two meter leads for the measurement. And so on the meter, black will connect to this common here. This red will connect here. We need to press this to power the meter. All right. So we are done setting the meter for measurement. The next thing we need to do is to make sure that the switch is at the off position. So we switch off the AC switch. And then at this level, we need to switch on the breaker that supplies power to this switch because we need supply available here to be able to do this measurement. Okay, so now I'll go back and then switch on the breaker that I switched off before we open the switch. All right, so now supply is restored. So here, this is the input from the supply and this is the output. So what we are going to do is that I'll use the black lead at the input and then the red lead at the output and remember before we do this the switch must be at the off position okay so black and then red i'll use the remote to switch on the air conditioner so let's go all right so friends this is how to use the multimeter to measure current that is consumed by an air conditioner and please, if you have learned something new from watching this video, kindly do well to share it with your friends, hit on the like button, and leave your comments at the comment section. And I have to reiterate that when doing this type of test, you have to be very careful because the voltage here is substantially high and can cause harm if you don't handle it properly. Thank you very much for watching this video. And I wish you stay connected by subscribing if you have not yet done that. See you in my next video.